Hello guys, Impact Frames here with another video, this time with AI Render Stable Diffusion in Blender. So basically you get this from this uh, Blender Market website and you install it like any other Blender add-on and it will be living in the Render Property panel. You also need a Hugging Face um, token for accessing the render because it's totally from the Hogging Face Stability AI thing. So basically you just go to this pane, enable it, um, enable AI render and put the render resolution 512 by 512 and we're gonna create a camera so we can render the image. I'm gonna snap the cursor to the word origin because I got it in another place and here I'm gonna go to the view panel and with the eyedropper select the camera so I can look through it with you press zero and you can look through the camera and now you can move easily so basically it works like uh, you input the prompt inside this uh, box and I'm gonna write a woman walking in the city by Simon Stalinhack. Stalin and she's followed by monsters. If you put this to zero, like the image similarity property to zero, you can have nothing in the scene and press F12 to render and it will render and it will take you will construct the image from the text prompt, everything from the text prompt, and you can see the art from Simon there. And I'm gonna use a sketchpad add-on to bring some assets into the scene, and I'm gonna bring a woman, and I also wanna bring a city. I'm gonna look for a city, and so I can make the, exactly like the prompt, a woman working in the city to test uh, um, this um, add-on. So now I'm trying to construct um, a bit of a composition here for... and this add-on has like these different style presets that you can select and also you can uh, easily test them by going into new image from last render. There is a property there in the options and you can easily try all the different all the different style settings that comes with it. You have like a, a, a photorealistic one and many other ones. I use the Polyheaven plugin to bring an HDRI into the scene and I'm rotating the HDRI and doing some more composition and so things are reading better. And we got more uh, settings, testings, and Let's see how it's coming. For now it's not looking very much like my like my scene because I have the, the prompt strength too high and uh, you need so basically the woman is walking in the city but it's not anything like the, the scene yet so by increasing the image similarity and downgrading the prompt strength you can have something that is a lot closer to the scene that you constructed. And I did another new image from the last render. And this time it's gonna look a lot... Yes, it looks a lot better, like... Almost like... Exactly like the scene. But with a... Better... <laughs> style. I did art germ here and and testing more like the similarity and some different samplers, different settings and the last thing I wanna do is um, 
is deviating a little bit because the less green image. Yep. And now I want to test if it can capture the whole pose because this is like the most important part and it was successful. You can see even the leg is in front exactly like, like in our scene. And finally, I'm gonna bring the image that I like from the render into the web UI to fix the face and increase the resolution. And basically, it's a really nice workflow and I hope you enjoy it. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.